Do you have difficulties tacking your Hobie 14? Well, so do I, but here we are troubleshooting, tacking the Hobie 14 and what we can do to get this little bad boy moving. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV. We're out in Vasiliki Bay once again. We're on the Hobie 14. We've got a brand new sail that's just been made by OS3 Sails. It's called a Hobie 14 Evo sail, which is like a standard sail, but it's got more of a square top feel to it. Okay, and um, so at the moment we're on our Hobie 14 and we are stopped. So rather than going through all of the failures of trying to get it going, if you're on any other sort of boat, you should be able to just let the main, and if necessary, the traveler off, reverse the rudders a little bit because we're going backwards. And then the front of the boat would come off the wind and we'd be able to start sailing, but not on the Hobie 14 because it is tricky. So what I've found is the only reliable solution to this is to actually tack the boat to get going. So to tack the boat, just gonna bring the main sheet in hard. Let the main sheet off a lot when head to wind. I'm even pulling the boom out. And then we're just teasing it off the wind a little bit. And then when we can feel that the boat is definitely going forwards, we can then sheet in and get it going. All right, so we're gonna go for another tack. So we're sailing very close to the wind. I've got the main sheet in as much as it will go. And what I'm gonna do is push the rudders away. And when we're head to wind, I'm gonna let off as much main sheet as possible. And then key on this boat in this wind, it's about eight to 10 knots of wind at the moment, is not to spend too long at the back of the boat. Cause even in this wind, we could capsize backwards. All right. So here we go, we've checked the area that we're going to tack into. Pushing the rudders away, head to wind, letting the main sheet off and pulling it out as well. Moving across the boat fairly quickly. So I think the, the key here, compared to sailing a 16 or something else, is when we're head to wind, we pull the boom towards us to allow the boat to bear away more on the new side. So let's go for that again. So we're block to block, we're close to the wind, going up. As soon as we head to wind, I'm gonna sheet out a lot. And I think the trick is to make sure that you're well through the wind before the battens pop which should happen naturally, but I think if the battens were to pop before you were well through the wind, you'd probably stall. All right, so one more time for luck. Here we go, we're sailing close to wind. Main sheet's in tight, pushing up into the wind. When we head to wind, pulling out a lot of main sheet, getting around the boat fairly quickly without spending too much time at the back. And by the battens not popping, it means you've got that little bit longer to nudge the boat off the wind before you power up. So I hope this has been useful for everybody who sails a Hobie 14. Uh, it's certainly been useful for me. I'm gonna be sailing a Hobie 14 a lot more now that I've got this new mainsail at the Wild Wind Beach Club Sailing Centre and uh, hopefully tomorrow we're going to have some significant winds so I'll be able to really take it out for a burn. Okay, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the like button as well because uh, it's nice but I know that you like it. Thank you very much.